Assalamu alaikum guys. Hope everybody will be fine. Today in this practical video, I will guide you for some common mistakes in the construction of this RCC slab. As you can see, the laping is starting from here. And now this is the other side of laping, which is about 4 feet. Guys, you can see clearly, laping is provided inside this beam instead of extra steel rods. Our bent up bar, they provided laping length. So guys, this is one of the big mistakes for this slab. As you can see, this is one column and this is the other column. Span between these two columns is 20 feet. So to the distance of L by 4, they should provide extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment because here we have more chances of cracks. So to resist cracks, we will provide bent up bar or extra steel rods in the construction of slab to the distance of L by 4. Unfortunately, they don't follow any structural drawing, they don't have a side supervisor, so therefore this design is done by a steel fixer. Therefore, you can see laping length more than 50% in this slab construction. As you can see, as I told you in many videos, from the reference of 456-2000 IS and from ACI also, the lapping should not be provided at the same point. Also, the lapping should not be provided at the middle of the slab as well as to the distance of L by 4. But they provide it. So where is the best place to provide lapping length? So the lapping length should be provided after L by 4 distance where we have we don't have negative bending moment. After L by 4 we have uh, we can provide extra uh, we, we can provide a lapping length which length should not be less than 50 D where D is die of steel rod. Unfortunately you can see they provided lapping at this place. Even where you can see the beam, floor beam on the top of this, they did this lapping. Actually, the standard length of the steel rod is from, uh, from factory 40 feet or 12 meters. So they should place one steel rods if they need the lapping. So the lapping should not be provided at this place where they provided already. As you can see guys, they provided in this beam two extra steel rods. Guys, you can see on the top of this beam, we have now four steel rods. So it's okay. So the length should be L by 4. If the length between two columns is 20 feet, so the extra steel rods length should be 20 divided by 4, where we have 5 feet. So to the distance of 5 feet, we will provide extra steel rods. Where we have extra steel rods, so the spacing of stirrup should be closely. Compared to its mid, unfortunately, you can see the spacing of stirrups, which is about 12 inches. So this is the maximum spacing of stirrups. Dia is 12 millimeter. Sorry, dia is 8 millimeter for stirrup. Hooks are bent on 90 degree. So what is the correct way? Hooks should be provided on 135 degree. Guys, you can see this is beam. They placed the steel rods here. So they will connect the other steel rods overlap with this lapping. So this is not okay. Spacing of main bars, distribution bars are 9 by 9 inches. Actually, this is not my job. So therefore, I don't want to tell them to discuss these things because uh, I don't know why they are doing this. But just I am showing you, if you are working on construction site, so don't follow this kind of construction. Actually, they don't have a site supervisor. If I tell them anything, so they will not agree with me. So therefore, I'm not allowed to, to discuss these things here to this owner. Because their steel structure designer is a steel fixer. So therefore, this design is done by a steel fixer. I think they don't know what is steel structural drawing, 
what is proper supervision they are just wasting their time as well as their money but one th one thing i can see here practically guys they provided two extra steel rods which dia is 16 millimeter on the one side it's okay but if you see on the other hand this is just 18 inches the spacing of stirrups should be closely and the place where we have extra steel rods are bent up bar or where we have maximum bending moment especially negative bending moment guys you can see from 4 to 6 inches because this is commercial building guys you can see the lapping is not okay so first this is not the place to provide lapping if they provide it so it should not be provided on the same direction as well as the lapping length is not okay it should not be less than 50 d or it should not be less than one meter guys you can see two steel rods extra they provided to resist negative bending moment on the other hand you can also see the lapping spacing of main bars distribution bars for this single mesh is nine inches nine by nine inches on the top of this they will provide the other mesh which will be also 9 by 9 inches for double mesh main bars distribution bars spacing will be 4.5 by 4.5 mesh this is single mesh on the top of this they will provide they will construct the other mesh so that will be double mesh slab construction reinforcement Dia for main bars distribution bars are same which is 12 millimeter main bars are placed at the bottom distribution bars are placed at the top guys you can see here extra steel rod they, they did not provide extra steel rods here so they should place extra steel rod at this place but unfortunately they will overlap the other steel rods to place on the other hand so this is not okay spacing you can see you can't see any dual metal length more students they are telling me sir what is the correct way i am telling you the correct way for this slab construction is lapping should not be provided where we have negative bending moment especially uh, at the place of l by 4 so there we should provide extra steel rods are bent up bar so where is the best place to uh, to provide lapping length guys the lapping length should be provided after l by 4 you can say after to the distance of l by 5 you are allowed to provide lapping length so the lapping length should not be less than 1 meter or 50 d where d is dia of steel rod hope this video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye